Welcome back. It is Saturday, July 13th, 2019. It is 77 sweltering degrees at 10.57 a.m. It's the Mike Show. And there's my Maxi. There's my Maxi. He's going back out. There's my Sam and there's my Els. And we decided, uh, since it is a hot summer day, and it's going to be a scorcher, I think. I think we're going to get more heat than the weatherman's promising. We decided to make one of our summer and all-season favorites, uh, some salsa. Give you a little nutrition information along the way. Uh, I live on salsa and corn chips. I get the home essentials round uh, from Gordon Food Service. Pretty good bargain. They're like 12 bucks for a case. There's five one and a half pound bags in there. What's the matter, Maxi? And there's nothing in there but, you know, whole corn and some vegetable oil and salt and stuff like that. So you can pretty much read the ingredient list and they're not overly salty. And anyway, that's the kind I generally get. Uh, some more nutrition information for you. There are four f basic food groups that at my home, at our home, I should say. Hey, Maxie. Hey, Max. There is crunchy things, chewy things, sloshy things, and cat hair. And having said that, we're going to roll right into this. Uh, we've got our ingredients laid out here. I do realize I forgot one major thing, and that's a green pepper, and I'll have to go get one and add that later. But we've got some coarse black pepper, crushed red pepper, cayenne pepper, some granulated garlic, some tomato paste, some no salt diced tomatoes, no salt tomato sauce, two times, small cans, a onion about the size of a baseball, some garlic, a couple jalapenos, We've got the tools we're going to use, our knife, our spatula, uh, one teaspoon measuring spoon and our can opener. And we've got one cup of cooked black beans in there. And we're going to start by uh, chopping up the uh, jalapeno, the garlic, and the onion. So we are going to pause for that and we will be back in a moment. Alright, we're back. We're going to show you uh, at this point we have uh, minced the onion, or no, <laughs> we've minced the garlic, and whatever the term is between diced and minced that's about the size of the two jalapenos we chopped up and if you're expecting perfection forget it <laughs> the only thing i'm perfect about is being perfectly me and i've been wrong more than i've been right and anyway we're going to get back to chopping up the onion and we'll make that about the same size as we did the jalapeno when we get a green pepper we're going to dice that all right we got the onion and the green pepper in now and we're going to show you that the onion, like I said, is uh, somewhere between the size of mincing and dicing. The green pepper's diced. I guess what that means is like the green pepper's like half inch squares and the onion and the jalapeno are like quarter to eighth inch little chunks and mincing is mincing for the garlic. And then we're going to add now one teaspoon each of coarse black pepper, crushed red pepper, red cayenne pepper, and granulated garlic and I know I put garlic in there real garlic but that uh, granulated garlic gives it a little extra boost and I like that all right and there are the seasonings added one teaspoon each of black pepper crushed red pepper cayenne pepper and granulated garlic isn't this fun I eat this a lot like I said and I not only eat it with corn chips but I also uh, heat it and put it over my seasoned rice. It's pretty delicious. Uh, one summer back in the day back in the 1980s when I was still a gas head and an active gas head and drug addict I lived on uh, chips and dips and black velvet whiskey so I'll take that for whatever that's worth. It's now sobriety and salsa and corn chips. We've added the uh, tomato sauce and the tomato paste, and then we squeeze the juice from the canned tomatoes into that mixture. We got the canned tomatoes on the cutting board, and they are diced. We're gonna we're gonna 
petite dice them, I guess would be the term. We're going to mince them up pretty good with our favorite knife. There it is. So, we'll do that. All right, there's those after we've chopped them up finer. We're going to add them to that mixture and then mix it around with the old spatula. And we're almost there. We are almost there. Whoops. All right, we've mixed everything together with the spatula. And it's looking pretty good. It's pretty thick. I like it. And uh, we got one more thing to add in there. And that's a couple jiggers of vinegar. So that's the next thing on our list. And we pour in all oh, about not much. And yeah, but all oh, like that, you know, it's a gut feeling kind of thing. And we're going to mix that in. And that's pretty much it. And then we'll cover that. Put it in the refrigerator and let it fester for a few hours and get cold. It's, uh, you know, most cooks like to let things simmer. And uh, I don't know what the term is when you're mixing something together. Maybe let it gel or whatever. Mix together all the seasonings combining with themselves. I like to let stuff fester. So we're going to let this fester for a few hours in the refrigerator. And we got to run and get some corn chips. And we'll have that for supper tonight, so... Yeah, on to making some hummus now. There's another video for that somewhere. I will gather my cooking videos into a playlist for you. I'm not saying it's the best salsa in the world. I'm not saying I'm the best cook, but I know in all the years I've been cooking, I've never given anybody food poisoning. Sammy's taking a good snooze. So that's all we have for now. Peace and blessings. Have a great day and enjoy the time with the ones you're with.